In 2023, Major League pitchers are throwing faster than they ever have in history. In just the past three years alone, the amount of pitches thrown over 100 miles an hour has more than tripled, with some players even being able to reach speeds of up to 105 miles an hour. And while baseball fans love watching pitchers overpower hitters, it might actually be hurting the game. As pitching velocity rises, so do injuries, and in April of 2023 alone, 270 pitchers had to go on the injured list. And it's not even just pitchers alone, because because hitters are struggling just as much. Across MLB, strikeout rates have skyrocketed and players are having a harder time than ever trying to keep up with these speeds. Not to mention, standing in the batter's box has never been more dangerous for a hitter. But despite all of this, teams are pressing their players more than ever to throw as hard as possible. And the reason why is actually pretty simple, in that it just works. As a game, baseball is always changing and there was once a time when a 90 mile an hour fastball was considered a formidable weapon weapon in a pitcher's arsenal. However, in today's game, that's the bare minimum. Modern day hitters annihilate fastballs in the lower 90s, with a batting average of around 300 against those pitches. However, when facing pitches that exceed 100 miles an hour, that average drops all the way down to below 200. So naturally, pitchers with a higher velocity are gonna be in higher demand. Now, up until recently, people assumed that the ability to throw harder was simply drawn from talent and genetics, but it's becoming obvious that velocity is also something that can be learned. Today's pitchers have access to more technology than ever, with high-speed cameras and radar guns that allow players to tweak their mechanics and maximize velocity. And at the same time, training regimens have improved as well, focusing on building strength in the entire body to counteract the extreme stress that is caused by throwing a baseball. But as pitching keeps getting faster and faster, we have to consider the consequences that it might have on the game of baseball itself. Starting off with the impact of faster pitching on hitters. As you would imagine, when pitchers throw harder, less balls are put in play. Baseballs traveling at 100 miles an hour plus are quite simply more difficult to hit. In fact, it's so so hard that hitters only have around one tenth of a second to make a decision on whether or not to swing. It's arguably the hardest thing to do in any sport, and rising speeds only make it harder. This was evident in 2018, as for the first time in Major League history, there were more strikeouts recorded than there were hits. And really, this has only gotten worse, as strikeouts are occurring at a higher rate than ever, and there's been a pretty significant decrease in batting average in the past two decades. In the year 2000, the average fastball was a little under 90 miles an hour, and the league batting average that year was 270. But fast forward to last year, and the average fastball rose to 94 miles an hour, and the batting average dropped all the way to 243. Now this looks really bad on paper, not just for the hitters, but also just for the game of baseball in general. However, there is some nuance to this stat that could help to explain it. For example, over this same amount of time, the general approach towards hitting has completely changed. With the rise of emphasis on launch angle and exit velocity, velocity, the goal is no longer to just put balls in play. Instead, many players are aiming to hit as many home runs as possible, at the expense of incredibly high strikeout rates. Take for example, Joey Gallo. Pretty much every time Gallo comes to the plate, he's either going to hit a home run or strike out. His batting average is sitting at just 188, but yet, his OPS is over 800. I mean, the average launch angle of one of his hits is over 29 degrees, while the league average is just 12. And while of course, Gallo is an extreme example, this is a trend that's happening across the entire league. And despite the massive increase in strikeout and whiff rates, batting average on balls in play is actually going up. In other words, when hitters do make contact with these faster pitches, the ball tends to leave the bat faster too, and with a higher chance of resulting in a hit. However, these pitches also come with a higher chance of disaster. When a baseball is thrown at over 100 miles an hour, it becomes a projectile that is capable of causing severe injuries. Even a slight misjudgment by the batter could result in season or career ending injuries. This stuff is extremely dangerous, but it's also important to realize the implications on not just the hitters, but also the pitchers themselves. Throwing faster pitches more often puts an immense strain on pitchers' arms, which can lead to serious injuries as well as long recovery periods. In the past year alone, shoulder and 
and elbow injuries among pitchers have risen by over 44%. And what's even more concerning is that over a third of major league pitchers have had to undergo Tommy John surgery at some point in their career. Most bodies are not meant to withstand the stress necessary to throw a baseball this fast, and arm injuries are one of the biggest issues in Major League Baseball right now. So in many cases, pitchers are sacrificing their long-term health to gain that little bit of extra velocity. And a popular example of this is Jacob deGrom. Back in 2016, deGrom's fastball was sitting around 94 miles an hour, but in more recent years, his average fastball has increased to over 99 miles an hour, and sometimes it gets all the way up to 101. And as you would expect, this resulted in more strikeouts and less hits. However, it also caused deGrom to go from being a reliable and durable pitcher to being a fragile one who spends more time on the injured list than on the field. Now, before he even made his debut, deGrom had Tommy John surgery back in 2010, and for a while, it seemed to have worked, but just a couple years ago, he once again started having issues with his elbow. And just recently, it was announced that he has to undergo a second Tommy John surgery, meaning that he'll miss the remainder of this season and part of next season too. This is really bad for the game of baseball, and unfortunately, it's becoming all too common. And the reason is that teams are sending the message that velocity is what pitchers should be focusing on. And what that means is that players are pushing their bodies too far and everybody seems to be fine with it. However, it's undeniable that faster pitching is generally more effective, so it's kind of understandable. And also, from a fan perspective, it's simply fun to watch. Pitchers like Aroldis Chapman, Jordan Hicks, and Jawan Duran have become household names based on the speed of their pitches alone. Chapman, who made his debut back in 2010, has thrown 7 of the fastest pitches ever recorded, holding the record at 140. 5.8 miles an hour. Now, obviously, not every pitcher is throwing 106, but there are plenty of pitchers that are capable of hitting triple digits. And unsurprisingly, the baseball community loves it, and Twitter goes crazy every time Ben Joyce takes the mound. But here's the question that everyone is asking. Can pitching keep getting faster, or have we already witnessed the peak? Scientifically speaking, there is a physical limit to how fast a human can throw a baseball. However, it is possible that we could push this limit a little bit further than it already has been. Experts believe that with the perfect mechanics and body conditions, it could be possible to reach speeds of up to 113 miles an hour. It is important to note though that achieving the speed could do more harm than good, and it's pretty much impossible to achieve anyways, so it's probably best to look at this simply as a hypothetical. Overall, the rise of faster pitching in baseball is a double-edged sword. On one hand, people love to watch it, and players are incentivized by its effectiveness, but on the other hand, it slows down offense and puts players at a higher risk for injury than ever. So we're left wondering, what does all this mean for the future of baseball? Well, it's most likely that we'll continue to see the rise of power pitchers and a game dominated by strikeouts and home runs. Texas Rangers GM Chris Young says that you want velocity in today's game, but we don't want everyone to have extreme velocity. There's an art to pitching, and we don't want to get away from that, but there's also something great about power and velocity. We want a wide range. So for now, let's just enjoy it but also acknowledge how it could be affecting the game we all love.